Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell already, we are in my new kitchen. Dun, dun, dun. So different from all my other kitchens. I feel like in all of my previous halls, in all my previous kitchens, they had the same aesthetic because they were at the same apartment management company, but this one is wildly different for you. It's a little bit of a different background. It is the new year, almost, we're so close. It is time, we are here for another Trader Joe's haul. We still got the holiday bags. Boop, 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 boop. So with that being said, I feel like I'm not the only one who does this, but I've just eaten like crap over the holidays and I have drank so much that I am ready to cleanse this body and become a vision of health again, as well as freaking COVID is running rampant through the States again. So just trying to be mindful of what I'm putting into my body. So this is gonna be a much more healthy haul for you all. And I am very excited. That being said, if you are new here, please hit that big red subscribe button. I post three videos a week and I would love for you to follow along. I usually do a Trader Joe's haul about once a week. So let's jump into today's haul. All right, first things first, one of my seasonal favorites that they still had in stock, so I had to grab it, the Harvest Apple Salad Kit. This salad kit is one of my favorites at Trader Joe's. It's seasonal, but it's so, so, so good. I've had a bunch of you try it because I recommend it so much on here. So if you haven't already, I really recommend giving this one a try because it is so delicious. Next up, I was really excited. They still had the Wintery Blend Coffee Mix. This one is my favorite of the winter coffee mixes. The only other one is the gingerbread one, which is good, but I like this one because it's a little bit more subtle. So they still had this in stock, so I grabbed another container of it because it's just, it's so yummy. Alex grabbed another one of the bags of the spicy pork plant, wait, what are these? The spicy porkless, what are these called? Spicy porkless plant-based snack rinds. These are one of our favorites. They are unfortunately absolutely addicting, but they're really, really good. So a little bit spicy, really crunchy. I cannot believe that they are plant-based, but they are so yummy. Next up, one of the recipes I'm making next week is that egg roll in a bowl sort of thing. It's like one of those Whole30 recipes, but it's really delicious. It's essentially just a stir fry with lots of cabbage. But one of the recipes I saw called for pea shoots, like snap peas, but I would rather put in mushrooms. So I got the Baby Bella Cremini mushrooms from Trader Joe's. I will be chopping these up and putting those in as well. Now the recipe I'm gonna be making is spicy shrimp tacos, and I might do them in taco bowl style. I'm not entirely sure. And then I'm also gonna do chili verde chicken, which I'll probably do in a bowl. I don't know, either way. I needed avocados. So I got the bag of the teeny tiny avocados. It's perfect because I'm not cooking this till next week and these raw avocados are rock hard, but I will have these on deck. If you guys have seen my hauls, the teeny tiny avocados are my favorite because I'll use a whole one versus a regular sized avocado. I just never use them quick enough. Like I don't need that much avocado. The teeny tiny ones are perfect for me. All right, next up, this is new and I'm so excited. And this was really the inspiration behind my chicken tacos and shrimp tacos next week. They came out with the green and red hatch chili flakes, a product of of New Mexico. I am so excited for this. I really love hatch chilies and I get their hatch chili salsa a lot. I'm very optimistic. I think these will be really, really yummy and I'm gonna try them out next week. Hopefully they have like a good old spicy kick to them. I think these will be delish. Next up, as I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of what I put in my body, I have not tried these before, but I'm excited to give them a whirl. These are gluten-free tortillas made from quinoa flour. Most gluten-free tortillas are made from corn, which is fine, but I really wanted to try these. I hadn't tried these before. So these are quinoa tortillas. And so we'll give these a whirl and see what I think. I can tell right now just from holding them, they definitely need to be warmed up because they feel quite stiff, but we'll see if when warmed, if they work well and satisfy. Next up, I wanted to do a salad with the shawarma chicken thighs. These are one of my favorites. They are so delicious, but they're also great because I can just pop this in the freezer and defrost it when I need it. But these shawarma chicken thighs are so, so, so yummy in my opinion. I really, really love these. Next up, Alex got some tamales. He got the beef tamales and the cheese and green chili tamales. They're all so good. These tamales are freaking bomb. I love them so much. So those are super easy just to keep on hand and he'll eat those as a snack sometime. Next, I got two containers of ground chicken. I prefer ground chicken over ground turkey. One of these I'll be using in that egg roll in a bowl. And then the other one, I'm making a bomb me bowl. That's right. So I'll be using this in both of them. Essentially, I'm making Asian stir fries twice next week and using ground chicken for both of them. But it's like one of my favorite things. And it's just so yummy and easy and delicious. Another one of my staple items that I ran out of is the chili onion crunch. This is essentially dried chilies, dried onions mixed with a chili oil. 
It is so good. I mix this into any Asian dish I make, all stir fries and everything. It just adds such a good spicy flavor. I love the chili onion crunch. It is so good if you have not tried it and you make spicy Asian food, I highly recommend. Another new item that I haven't tried yet, this is the Pesto Rosso, a tomato-based pesto sauce made with Parmesan cheese and cashews. I'm excited to try this. I love pesto, but what I love about pesto is the basil, so like this might just highly disappoint me. The second ingredient is sunflower oil, which I don't love, but it was new. I had to try it. We're gonna throw it on some pasta. It'll be delicious. All right, and next up to try and kick our butts into health and wealth. First, I got two shots of the Mighty C, the Acerola Cherry one. These are a better bang for your buck because these are Trader Joe's own brand, and so they're quite a bit cheaper than the Suja ones, but I got one of these as well. The Acerola and Cherry, it's 100% of your daily value of vitamin C. I think it's gonna be pretty tart. This other one is the Suja Vitamin D and Zinc. I figured these would both just be really good for us to grab because it seems like literally everybody is getting sick right now and I'm really not trying to get sick. So picked up both of these. Alex, you wanna come take these shots with me now? Which one are you gonna start with? We're gonna take them both right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wanna start with the blue one. Okay, cheers. Ooh, it's got a little zing to it. Mm -hmm. Ginger. Pineapple juice, apple juice, raspberry puree, ginger juice, turmeric, lemon juice, and ground black pepper. Yeah, it's good. I'm healthy now? Yeah. Well, once you take the second one, then we'll be healthy. Here you go. Okay. This Let's one see. I think is gonna be really tart. Bottoms up, bottoms up, up. That's good. Yeah, they taste good. Mm hmm Then now we are healthy. All right, moving on. I got two things of cabbage. And this is just the shredded cabbage. It says with orange carrots, but there's like one carrot shredded into here. This, I'm gonna be using one and a half bags for the egg roll in a bowl. And then I'm gonna be using the other half bag for burrito bowls, tacos, the whole shebang. I got a bag of the red lentil pasta. I like to keep this one on hand, but I ran out of it. I just used the last bag we already had. And so I grabbed another bag of this. This is my favorite like pasta alternative. The red lentils, it just has more protein in it. And I think it tastes the most like regular pasta. I like this one a lot. The brown rice and quinoa one is also really, really good, but it has a little bit less protein than the red lentil one. Next, I got another box of the well-rested tea. I haven't had this in a while and I missed it and I kept thinking that I needed to buy it. So finally, one got a box of that so that way I can have that before bed. I got this for my lunch today because I was hungry and craving it. And that is the Thai green curry with tofu sheets, vegetables, and jasmine rice. This is really stinking good. I got this in one of my hauls a couple weeks ago and I was really, really impressed. I liked this a lot. So I'm very, very excited to have this for my lunch today. Next up, I got this in a haul a couple weeks ago and we only just had it recently and I loved it, but that is the smoked herring. It's in canola oil, which isn't my favorite, but smoked herring, I'm British, so I used to grow up eating like kippers with my dad and I loved smoked herring. It was so, so yummy. So I'm really excited to have this again. We'll have this for breakfast sometime, but it was super delish. Another one, I got the bag of chicken breast meat. This is easy because they're individually frozen. So I can just pull out individual chicken breasts when I need them. But this bag is just getting tossed straight into the freezer. I kept not having protein on hand. And so this will be easy to throw in the freezer. And then someday when I'm meal prepping or if I need to make a meal last minute, this will just be there for me to be able to use. I also got another container of green juice. I've been getting this recently and I am really enjoying it. I think it's just an easy way for me to add more greens in my diet. This one does not taste good. This really is like a true green juice. It's not one that's like made with apple juice with a little bit of greens. This is quite healthy and tastes healthy, but I've been really enjoying it. So I'll have a cup of this today as well. Green juice. Alex got a jar of pickles. This is one of his favorite snacks. So he'll just like go into the fridge and eat pickles. And then he comes over and tries to kiss me with his pickle breath. But these are really yummy. Pickles have zero calories, which is just the most mind blowing thing. Are you gonna eat them now? I would like one right now. And then I'm gonna well, try to kiss you. No, you can't. <laughs> Too bad. I also got a bag of frozen shrimp. These will be for the shrimp tacos. I always get the medium shrimp because they're just like the cheapest per ounce. And I honestly don't care about the size of shrimp that much. So those are nice and easy. I got one of the seltzer waters with lemon and ginger. These are really, really good, but I didn't want a whole pack also because we carried our groceries home. And so I just got the lemon ginger one. This is really yummy. If you haven't had this before, I really do recommend. Okay, and another item that I think is new, or at least it's definitely new to me, are organic veggie bites. Bite-sized tots with organic vegetables and sunflower seeds. I'm pretty excited about these because usually in something like this, the first ingredients are potatoes. So it's really just a regular tot with a couple veggies added in. But this one, the the ingredients are organic carrots, organic celery, organic onions, organic sweet potatoes, kale, broccoli, 
and tomatoes as the first chunk of ingredients. So these sound really good. I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer and roast them up and I think we'll have these to try them out today as well. On to the last bag. I've been on a popcorn kick recently. This week I got the organic popcorn with the extra virgin olive oil. I was gonna just get the air popped one, but they didn't have it. So I went with this one, but I really like this. I get quite snacky and I'm realizing that it's not that I'm actually hungry. I just want to be chewing something. And so popcorn has been a good thing for me to just kind of mindlessly eat. We got two containers of the Palak Paneer. These I like having on deck and in our freezer just for like a night if I am pooped and don't wanna cook. I love having the Palak Paneer because it's so good. So these ones I'm just gonna throw in the freezer. I don't have any plan for them yet, but they're good in case of emergency type meal. Alex picked out the butter chicken with basmati rice for his lunch today. Since I was doing the green curry, he wanted this one. So that is what he will have. And then he was worried that wasn't enough food. So he also got the instant ramen noodles, the spicy miso one. I don't love these ramen noodles. I just don't think they're that good compared to other ramens you can get from an Asian grocery store like H Mart, but it's fine. And then last, I got two bags of the rice cauliflower stir fry. This is my favorite. I've talked about it before. These I'll be using for both of my like Asian dishes this week, but it has the green peas, red peppers, grilled corn, tamari, spring onions, sesame oil, and ginger. And I really think it's the sesame oil and ginger that make it, but this is so much better than just a plain cauliflower and rice. So these are my favorite. I love, love, love these. I'll also probably do where it's three quarters cauliflower rice and one quarter white rice just to kind of mix it up. It just makes it a little bit less carby, but then I feel like I'm eating normal rice. I don't know. It's delicious and I love it. And last but not least, are we surprised? Alex got another container of these sparkling lime seltzers. He will probably drink this entire container today because he drinks them so quickly, but those are always perfect for us to have on hand because he will go through those like nothing else. All right. That is everything I got into today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some inspiration for what you could cook this week. If you have any questions about any of the items, feel free to comment down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as I mentioned, if you haven't already, hit that big red subscribe button because I post a video every three days and I post a Trader Joe's haul just about every week. And I would love for you to follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.